a, a long time North Shore surfer, and uh, but most recently, over the last five or ten years, he's uh, um, established quite a reputation as a crafter of uh, modern versions of uh, the ancient uh, Olo and Alaya surfboards, and he also has Kikoko here to show you in Massachusetts. Aloha e, how are you today? Nice to meet you. This board here is made of Willy Willy, which is a native Hawaiian tree that is endangered, especially from the gall wasp, which has been attacking it. Luckily, it's coming back, So we, ha but we've had the opportunity to use some Willy Willy wood that has been dyed and standing there waiting to be given new life. So this style of board, most people consider an Olo surfboard, very long and narrow and ovoid in shape. This is a little bit more narrow, similar to the Olo, able to float. The Kiko'o is a measurement, a thickness measurement, two and a half to four inches, which this is about uh, three and a half, almost four inches thick. 18 feet long, only about 18 inches wide, and that's because that's what the tree gave me. So. Uh, it's an expression of Hawaiian surfing. It's very exciting to go out to Kahana and, and, and surf the ahiu waves of Kahana because that uh, was done in the ancient times by surfing chiefs like Palani at the time of Hi'iaka. And so knowing that they were surfing there, I feel a little safer. And it's also very exciting to recreate or recreate that experience. Do you remember your first surfboard? You want to tell us something about it? Uh, yes, I remember my first surfboard. Um, and that was, <laughs> it was an old crusty single fin, swallowtail, that I got from the haunted house next door in Kailua that had a garage sale <laughs> way back in 1980 and took it out to Kailua Shore Break. But even before I bought my surfboard, uh, a friend of mine, Ryan Churchill, pushed me into a wave on a purple single fin. That was my friend Tom Devros, you know. But that was uh, in Kailua. I think about these wood boards and what got me into that, I, I know it was a pathway of education. My Hawaiian language teacher encouraging me to Kumukalani Mainiki to, you know, to uh, take a look at surfing in these, in these ways as a tra traditional Hawaiian cultural activity. And so through that I've really journeyed, but I can go back to a plate that my grandma painted when I was very young and uh, yeah, maybe one or two and it showed me holding a wooden surfboard with my name carved in it and a little shark swimming on the sea. And now I think about that standing next to this board and thanks grandma, you know. <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Right on Ipan. Aloha. Eh.